Alright, hello guys, and welcome to Space Engineers. Today, I will be showing you around a ship I've built. Um, pretty powerful, if I do say so myself. Also quite big. Um, it's not the biggest I've built, or at least I'm building one that's currently a lot bigger than this. Um, but it's taken a while. You guys will see that eventually. But, uh, I think we'll start off on the bridge. Um, so, actually, I guess we'll start out on the side. I'll show you around. Um, on the back here, we have a hangar that drops down into the actual the actual hangar of the ship. This is uh, the landing pad, I guess you could call it. And we have a back door into the bridge, which is actually, I think, the only way onto the ship. If you don't go in through the back doors on the front, or the gravity gun doors on the front, um, unless you, of course, pull a hole in it, but I mean, like, yeah. Um, so there's the landing pad, you can go in from there, or you can go into the back door. Or you can go in through here, which is the gravity gun. Now, I will be showing you this. Um, I guess we can just get a target. Um, oops, that's not the button I want to push. Just a little preview of the things I've built. Um, I'll make sure not to show you any of those. Um, now, if you do want any of these things, of course, they're all on the Steam Workshop. Um, and I will be putting a link to this one in the description below. Um, so let's get a target here. Um, I guess another, another Torrin will do. Um, it loads. There we go. Uh, I'll place this in here. Okay, so we'll give it a pretty good... What's that on the bottom? No, it's nothing. So this ship is a uh, mix between light and heavy armor. Uh, some heavy armor put in some strategic places, covering important parts on the inside of the ship. Like the Mac gun has been lined with some heavy armor, some parts covering where the engines, where the reactors and the gyroscopes are. I have totally forgotten how to turn this thing. This is how you do it. Okay, so we'll just get a pretty good shot on it here. Line that up with the cannon. I'll just show you how much damage it can do. Now, the gravity gun here. Things are going to lag a bit here. The gravity gun, once the uh, projectile leaves the chamber, it doesn't slow down because you're in space. There's nothing stopping it. So, once it hits, it'll be going, I think, full speed, 104 meters a second. And it's a pretty big projectile, so it's going to do a lot of damage. Now, because of the way the uh, detection, uh, the uh, collision detection works in space engineers, um, it doesn't do as much damage as it should, but it still does a lot of damage. Uh, now this is only one gravity gun design I've come up with. I've come up with several. There's uh, smaller ones, there's a lot bigger ones with more power. If you've seen the uh, Super Mech video, that was not really... That, I think this gravity gun is actually more powerful than that one. That one's more for trying to make it look very powerful. It's not that powerful. Um, it does a lot of damage, don't get me wrong, like if you hit something with it, that thing's gonna hurt, but not as much as this one does. This one's a lot smaller and you can aim a lot better. Um, but actually, I guess I won't show you that now. We'll wait till we head in the inside of the ship. We'll just leave that there. Um, it's got four missile launchers on the front for aiming. They're not really there for firing, although you could if you want. They're there more for just so you can aim this thing. Um, then you have these. Now, I think there's, what, 18 on each side? So, that's a lot of firepower. Um, but that's really all the firepower it has. It doesn't have any automated uh, turrets or anything. Because I found that if you put those around it, you just end up shooting your own ship, and that's no fun. So you got... It's actually quite movable, maneuverable for something of its size. Um, you got a... Uh, three, four, seven engines on the side here, on each side, and then you got, I think, eight in total on top. Yeah, eight pushing it down. And then, twelve of these big industrial dusters, um, that are actually a mod. There's a couple mods on the ship, so you'll have to download those, but they're very good mods. Um, I don't know, if you don't have them, I do recommend them. Um, I'll go through those later. Um, so yeah, that's basically the outside of the ship. I guess we'll go into the back here. Because I guess it's the only way in. Um, just turn on off the jetpack. 
head up. We got one door here. It is kind of laggy because it is a large ship with quite a few lights. I tried to put down the light number as far as I could, but it's a big ship. So we do have two automated turrets in here for any intruders. Uh, they probably would blow a hole in the floor, but I mean, like, what would you rather? Somebody taking over a ship or having a hole in your floor? So, um, you have an elevator shaft here. I guess it's not really an elevator, it's more just a shaft. It goes down to the hangar. And you have a medical bay in here, and also another one on the other side. Um, then, you have two more automated turrets here, which is also the same on the other side. Um, and you have a barracks which doesn't really have much of a purpose because like you don't actually sleep in here but I mean it looks nice right so this is where the soldiers would come and like hang out I guess got some chairs and a nice view um, but this is actually the same on the other side um, but here we have a bridge it's a very small bridge um, but it's not the only bridge there's actually another bridge on the bottom of the ship um, as a backup so, I guess this would be more of an observation bridge, but this is actually where you're supposed to control it from. So, look at that. It actually does go pretty fast. Um, after we test out the mech cannon, I will probably take it for a spin here. Um, but the mech cannon actually will go last, because I just remembered how you load it. Um, and because of when I, when I built the ship, um, certain things were not in the game, like the projector wasn't in the game, so I couldn't make any kind of auto-loading thing. That was huge and took up a lot of space. Um, I guess we'll go down the shaft here. So you actually have to paste the projectile in, but... Oh well. Uh, I don't expect anybody to try and build this in survival. Uh, that would be very hard. Uh, a lot of resources. Um, so this is the hangar. Fairly large. We got a uh, little landing pad that comes down here. Um, yeah, actually, the only thing protecting this is a single layer of light armor block, so it's actually a pretty vulnerable part of the ship, but it's at the back, so it's not as vulnerable as you might think. Um, so that comes down, you can let ships in, that's actually the only way for ships to get in. Um, that's just a shaft going back up. Uh, next we'll go up here. This leads to the reactor room. Well, reactor rooms. Um, there's two, one on each side. Exactly the same. Um, it's got four reactors in each one, so a total of eight. Um, I don't think there's much else in here other than reactors. No, just the reactors. Um, this thing isn't set up to be survival friendly. Um, it's got, or, uh, engine, or thruster friendly. Um, it's got thrusters and, well, it might be. Yeah, I think it is actually thruster friendly. But it's definitely not pipe friendly. You got no pipes anywhere. Um, so, any kind of manual resource thing is done. Um, so down here, we have a commons room where people can come and chat, I guess if you wanted to, I don't know. There's just kind of a space filler. Um, you got some big solar panels that I tried to make look like screens, but you can never do that, right? Um, and here we have the cargo rooms. Um, how much cargo do we have in here? Eight on each, or yeah, eight on each side, so a total of 16. Um, it's quite a lot of cargo space. Um, it's not as much as a ship of this size should have, but it's still quite a bit um, this is on each side. So back here we have holding cells. I'm actually quite proud of these because I figured, well anyone in here could probably just hack this door, right? Well, so I put these on, so there's actually no way of opening the doors on the inside, unless you just grind right through them. Um, so you actually have to just pull that up. I think actually, I can't remember if it's up or down, but when these doors are either open or closed, uh, they actually make a rattling noise. It doesn't damage anything or anything like that, it just rattles a lot. So, I think, you have to, I think it's open that they make the noise. So, that's good because you can keep it closed and have your prisoners locked up while you move. Um, same thing on this side, just uh, same door, just red. Um, so the console you have, uh, it's set, so the piston's set to like red, or red cell or something. Um, these little things are meant to be kind of like beds. You got some chairs. Um, yeah, so that's the prison. Um, you got a little auto cannon for any escapees. Uh, and back here we have the backup command room. Um, it's a lot safer than the other one, but 
the other one is the one that's supposed to be used. Um, if you want. Like, I mean, you could use either one you want. Um, I don't think I put any auto turrets in here. No, I didn't. Right, so that's that. That's basically the whole ship. Um, now, what I want to show you is a mag cannon. Or a gravity gun, is what I could call it. Uh, ooh, okay, a bit high there. Okay, that's in here. This is the gravity gun control room. And it's not hard to fire. This button just closes the safe doors there. Um, blast doors, I mean. So you just let them close. Is that... why are they... Why are they offset? I don't know, maybe it's just a render glitch. It's not like that when you get close. But, uh, I'll just close these up. Alright. Now, what we have to do is we have to go into here with a large Mac round and just paste it on inside. Um, you have to do some. This isn't my best uh, Mac design because of the way you have to paste these in. It's kind of slow. I'm developing a new one which actually uses the projectors on an auto loading system. And it's all set up for pipes and everything. Everything's all friendly. Um, so just put this in here. You gotta make sure it's as close to the center as possible. Then all you do is push this button here. And boom. Look at that explosion. That is satisfying. Now the good thing about these gravity guns is that once you fire the projectile, I guess it could be a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you, what angle you're firing it at, but the gravity of whatever you're shooting at it will also pull it down. So the way I fired at it here, the gravity of this ship is pulling all those artificial mass blocks just straight into it, causing even more damage. Um, and if they try to leave, uh, this huge thing is floating inside their ship. Well, I guess it's falling out now. But see, the mech round just tore right through the center of the ship. Um, now that was actually a pretty good shot. It doesn't usually go through the entire ship. And I think it only did that because of the way the gravity was. It was actually pulling it down through the ship. Um, so there's that. That's the gravity gun. It's quite a bit of damage. Um, what exactly did it destroy? The gravity gun is totally taken out. Like, this thing is done. But one thing, actually, one thing about the gravity gun that's really bad is if you lose a single generator, it's gonna shoot off course and probably destroy the entire inside of the chamber. And probably just render your whole mech gun useless, because you won't be able to fire. Um, but yeah, let's see what kind of damage it did here. So it destroyed basically half of the control room for the thing. Destroyed a little bit of the hangar here, and an entire corner of the commons room. Not to mention it's got the gravity gun, which is pretty big. So, and then you just have to fire another one of that, and just double the damage. I think we actually took out part of the uh, little room where I keep the stuff in there, the gyroscopes. So yeah, if you gotta aim that at like one of these wings or something, you gotta take out a whole, uh, whole reactor section. And then you just cut his power in half. So yeah, that's that. Let's take this thing for a spin though. Um, just to show you how maneuverable it is. It's actually, like, it's not the best maneuverability, but it is, like, a huge ship, and it's, you're not meant to have that much maneuverability. Like, it's not meant to be, like, a small ship. Um, so, yeah. It's just, uh, I guess you don't need to close the door. Um, like, you're supposed to have small ships on the ship in order to do all that maneuverability stuff. Um, like, it does have, like, it has maneuverability. Good luck. Just fix the camera here. Okay, it can turn pretty quick. Um, why aren't these weapons set up? They're set there. That's okay. Yeah, see, look at all those missiles. That's a lot of missiles. Um, you just fire those. Does lots of damage. Um, see, it's totally destroy the entire top of this thing. It's lagging a lot though. Too many missile effects. Yeah, look at that. It just completely destroyed the top of it. So let's go. Let's go somewhere. Let's go, let's go to space. Let's go to the sun. Why not, right? Going to the sun is always fun. So, it's not the fastest ship in the world, but it is fairly large. Um, I put as much thrusters down as I could while keeping along with the design and still having a look even semi-good. So, yeah. It is, it's still right at speed, though. Um, get a little bit of side thrust here. 
Side test isn't as important. You just gotta slow down a bit. Let's see how fast it takes. How long it takes to slow down. Oh, very fast, actually. Um, well. So yeah, that's the, uh, the, uh, Torrent class. It is a capital ship. I think you'd call it, probably. Um, and there will be more videos like this. I am making more ships, and I also have more ships made. Okay, let's just go through them here. Um, so I have the tool. I almost got a little peek there. Um, there's also a course I made, a practice course, which is what that practice started for. Um, we got these Manolier class fighters, which are just normal fighters. Um, we got Stinger, we got Small Mac Rounds, which is just for the uh, ship I'm building now. Uh, you got the Dragoon class, which. Ooh, oh no, it's a battle cruiser. I said it was a battle cruiser. Alright, it's a battle cruiser, not a capital ship. Uh, you got some stealth cruiser, Dragoon class, and a support cruiser, and a rocket class. But you will get to see those next time. Thank you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like. I will be leaving a link to the um, page, I guess you'd call it, on the Steam Workshop in the description. So if you like the ship and you want to play around with it, well, go for it. It's a lot of fun. Um, and there will be more. So, uh, get ready for those. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.